Jerry Steffen with Denise Kovac of Certified Financial Group, and we're discussing surviving today's challenging economy, and we're talking about uh, bringing order to chaos in the financial market and, uh, of course, with your own money as well. So can you give me a historical parallel to what's going on today? Actually, uh, Jerry, I'll give you some historical parallels, but only a few. Um, beginning in 1990, the, um, the catalysts behind that market decline were very similar to what we're having today in that there was a financial crisis uh, which was caused by the, the junk bond meltdown. And there was also uh, a housing crisis uh, that included drops in the house prices and then there were the savings and loans failures. And then we look back to the 1970s and uh, with all the oil shocks going on, that could be kind of considered problematic in today's market as well. So can you uh, give your opinion on how long this current crisis will last? Well, although the current market could be aggravated by some wild cards, and, and those could be perhaps a war between Israel and Iran, or a major terrorist attack here on our soil, our U.S. soil. But I remain optimistic that the market has uh, begun to go towards the bottom, perhaps bottom out, if it already hasn't done so and that we're, we're beginning to perhaps peek around the corner to maybe some kind of recovery, albeit probably longer term. You know, if you think about the high energy prices which are affecting our economy, that's been problematic, but that will change in that uh, the rising unemployment and stagnant wages that, that will be existing will continue to lower uh, the energy prices simply due to lack of demand. And also what we have in place would be the expected stimulus to the economic growth from the Fed's uh, decisions to decrease the interest rates. And then you think about uh, the, the, this year's multi-billion dollar uh, tax rebate program that's in place. These are all factors that I believe that are helping to bring us to hopefully the bottom. Well, is there a good way to avoid overreacting to today's Chaos? Yeah. Jerry, there is. People need to stay calm. They need to contact their financial professional. Okay? We need to not lose sight of long-term investing. We don't need to panic. We don't need to make rash decisions. What we do need to do is, while meeting with your planner, you need to kind of go back over your investment goals, your risk tolerance, your, your timeline and even your current financial situation to determine that all of them are appropriate at this given time. Long-term investing is a marathon. It's, it's, it's not a sprint. Uh, another thing that people should consider is diversification within their portfolio uh, according to their risk tolerance. And basically, I would suggest looking at a mix of uh, stocks and fixed income uh, both do domestic and international. And a good rule of thumb is to invest money regularly. Don't take all your, all your cash and put it into stocks in a good market, or don't do the other thing around. Don't take all your stocks and put it in you know, um, cash in a bad market. Invest periodically, whether it's monthly, it's quarterly, and uh, basically benefit by the, the differences in market fluctuations and the cost of those shares that you're purchasing. Well, Denise, do people risk more long-term problems by making bad choices in the short term? People shouldn't obsess over short-term volatility. Again, it's about our long-term goals. And I, I talk with people at times. In fact, I was speaking with somebody a couple of weeks ago about this very thing. And she's 65 years old and in retirement. And we got to talking about long-term goals. Well, she didn't quite feel like She's that in that category because she's not working anymore and she is retired. But I simply reminded her that, you know, if she lives to be a ripe age of 95, she's going to be financing that supplemental income for the next 30 years. If you think about it, that's a pretty long time. What do you think? I agree, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So it is all about the long term. <laughs> yes. What are some of the mistakes people can make as they try to bring order to chaos in today's economy? Well, you know, people tend to want to move to cash in an emotional frenzy. They buy high and they sell low. Mm -hmm. And as you know, Jerry, there's a, a cost associated with that. If you take historically, um, 
Historically speaking, the market's best performing month each year averaged over 70% of the yearly returns. So if you miss that month, that's going to decrease your average total returns by over 7%. Again, you know, I was on a flight from um, Ohio not too long ago, and boy, we went through some turbulent times. A lot of people didn't feel very well on that flight, and mm -hmm. I was one of them, but I certainly wasn't going to jump off that airplane. <laughs> so I can kind of relate that flight to this market scenario simply because I made it to my destination, was back home. Mm -hmm. Nice analogy. Oh, thank you. What would you tell someone who wasn't sure how to deal with it? chaos. Again, back to meeting with your financial planner, revisit what your goals are, your time horizon, your risk tolerance, your situation at hand, just to make sure you're doing all of the right things that you need to. Hang on for the longer term and know that the chaos, while it's here and aggravating, it will come and it will go. And we need to just not lose sight of our long-term investment goals. Sounds good. Denise Kovach, thank you very much of Certified Financial Group. And if you'd like more information or a complimentary consultation, you can call or, of course, visit financialgroup.com.